السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome all hadith disciples, YouTubers, YouTubers and viewers of mine. This one is another episode of Five Minutes of Faith. You take a look on the side. To see how amazing the view is. SubhanAllah, the clouds. There are several verses in Allah's book, the Quran al Karim, in which He, the Mighty, the Majestic, speaks about clouds, their size, as a means of benefit for man, rain being sent down therefrom, and just as a proof for his greatness and his oneness. So I just want the viewers, obviously it's nothing like seeing it in person, but just to take a few seconds out of this episode and just look at the jaw dropping view of these amazing clouds and we're above them right now right now we're actually above those clouds the light is unreal it looks fake it's just too perfect for the human eye to see and this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has spoken about in the Quran and so does the book when Allah tells us commanding man to look at the sky look at the sama how he created it for the purpose uh, the purpose of him creating the sky and the stars and he challenges man to look he says do you see any imperfection in the sky do you see any flaws, any glitches? He says, then take another look and you will take your sight back. And it will be huh, tired and exhausted. And wallahi, that's what happens when you continue to look. And it's just one aspect of the sky. It's not nighttime yet. We're not looking at the stars, the sun, the moon, the other planets. We're just looking at one piece of the creation of the sky, which is the clouds. And the more you look, the more dazzling it is. And it has to have an effect upon your heart. You have to ask yourself the question, who created these clouds? And for what purpose? The one who made them, there's no doubt. It is a must. Intellectually, there's a must. That the one who made these clouds is someone that has infinite knowledge, total omnipotence and power to create something like that. And we find that man he spends his entire life in imitating and quote-unquote copycatting mimicking what a law the mighty and the majestic said be and then it was there's no doubt that there has to be a purpose behind this when you travel you're on the plane you're with different people you have to ask yourself am i the only one who realizes this who senses the wisdom behind creation why did Allah make this magnificent universe just for us to eat and drink and sleep, to seek a career, to make money, to marry, to have children, to fulfill our desires, to play soccer? Or the one who made these things, is there something behind that? A greater purpose, a greater wisdom. If you look at the clouds and you don't feel that, you don't understand that and realize that, then perhaps you're from those people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a covering over their eyes and deafness in their ears and a seal on their hearts. So there's nothing more beneficial for the believer than reflection, than pondering, than looking at one thing and reaching another conclusion. I believe there's been several episodes that we've spoken about this, reflecting upon time. Reflecting upon Allah's guidance, reflecting upon Allah's favor upon you with regards to what people don't have what you do. But I just want the viewer to just sit back and enjoy this great view. Allah knows best how many hundred feet or thousand feet we are above ground. So therefore, we pray to Allah the mighty and the majestic to make some goals when they see his signs, it increases them in Iman, increases them in faith, and allows them to constantly have on their minds the reason and the wisdom behind their creation and most importantly push and drive them to perform righteous deeds until the time of death. That's all
the time we have here.